I want to show you how to use the export solutions functionality within SmartList and Dynamics GP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to add a macro to it that will add a pivot chart, some additional information, and then a pivot table. Let's take a look at how we would do that. I'm going to start by going to SmartList in Dynamics GP. I'm going to use this sales detail line item and I'm going to start with this basic one. What I want to do is just look at the invoices. So I'm going to set up a search, cri search criteria to look at SOP type. And it's going to be invoice. I also want to add a column here for customer name. And I'm going to save that as a favorite. I'll let this fill out. And once this is completed, I'm going to send it to Excel. This is a standard ex export to Excel. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that standard export, I'm going to add a macro to it to add the additional formatting. Here's my Excel spreadsheet. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is to start a macro. And the first task is to create a pivot table. So I'll insert a pivot table, and I want these fields in that pivot table. I'm going to format the items in the pivot table right here. Reduce that a little bit. Okay, so now I've got these columns formatted. What I also want to do is I want to add some additional information. I'm going to add a gross profit field. So I'll add that field here. And the formula is going to be the extended price minus the extended cost. Now I have that field here. Let me format that as well. Now what I want to do is I just want to look at the top 10 customers. I want to base that on the extended price. So the first thing I want to do here is sort this by extended price. And then I just want to look at the top 10. Go here, I'm going to filter based on the top 10 on extended price. Now what I want to do is I'm going to add a chart. Hit pivot chart here. I'm going to add this type of chart. And I'm going to move this chart to a new sheet on my Excel spreadsheet. And here's the chart. Now I'm basically done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the macro. And what I want to do is I'm going to save this as a template. But before I do that, I want to get rid of the additional information that was added by the macro. So I won't have difficulty adding that in the future. So I'm going to delete this sheet here. I'm going to delete this sheet as well. And this data, I'm going to delete the data. So now it looks blank, but it's not. I've got the macro in there. You can see that here. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it as a template. I'm going to save it where I can find it. So now let's go back to Dynamics and we'll add this to the Smart List. So here's a Smart List that I created. And what I want to do is I want to add an export solution. So I'll go to Smart List, Export Solutions. Let's add that here. I'm going to look up my macro, my template with a macro in it. There it is right there. And this is going to be a completion macro. 
So I type in the name of the macro from the Excel spreadsheet. And it's going to be available to everybody. It's going to be in Excel. And then I need to find the specific smart list I want this attached to. It's going to be this one right here. I'm going to save that. I'm done with that part. And now if I go back to my invoice line items, which was the new smart list I created, I'm going to let that fill out, and then I'm going to export that into my new macro, and we'll see what that looks like. So the data is all there. And now you see when I go to the Excel up here, I've got a new option. This is my export solution. I'm going to hit that. It's going to run all that data to Excel and then run the macro, and we'll take a look at the results. It's almost finishing, and you'll see that it goes very fast into Excel. The macro runs very rapidly, and here's the result of that export solution. I've got the original data here. It created the pivot table, added the fields, and then created the chart. I can use this over and over again as I add new data into my system, and that smart list pulls that data. It's going to be available for this chart. So this was a fairly simple example, but it shows you the basics. What you want to do is run a macro, get that macro completed, save it, and then take away the additional information that that macro added, and then you can reuse that as an export solution to SmartList.